Hello friends, today we're going to take a look at the Hawkeye by Matt Fraction and David Aja Omnibus. It has a 552 page count and the cover price of $99.99. Let's get into this review. Stay tuned after the video to see how you can win a 110 scale Colossus statue from Iron Studios. Alrighty, taking a look at the dust jacket here, you get this great artwork from David Aja. Just the Hawkeye like minimalist uh, artwork here on the front. You get the uh, creators and whatnot on the side, a little Hawkeye. It's a thin Omni, but it's a, it was a good read, man. It's a, it's a quick read. It's definitely entertaining. Uh, you can definitely tell some of the elements from this book were definitely uh, taken like right off the pages and put into the Hawkeye series on Disney+. Plus. I'm a huge fan of the... Uh, the actual cover of the book here with all these little Hawkeye targets. Love when they do this with Omnis. I've mentioned this before in several videos. I'd, I kind of rather this than have, uh, you know, the uh, dust jacket artwork on the uh, inside. But So you get the uh, creators and whatnot here and the issues. Now, the issues apparently are out of order in this, which, honestly, I didn't even know until after I already read this. And it really doesn't make any difference with reading it. It flowed well. I didn't uh, feel confused or anything at all. Now this run starts out with the Young Avengers, which uh, Hawkeye uh, is now Kate Bishop. He's presumed dead, as he is the the Ronin. Um, this Young Avengers issue wasn't the greatest. I'm not a huge fan of uh, these uh, these characters and whatnot that are in here. Luckily, there isn't too much of that. It's mainly just Kate Bishop and uh, Clint Barton. But uh, he kind of you know gives okay to pass the torch for her as being Hawkeye and. Uh, I guess they become friends in that issue there and what leads to what happens in this run. So starting out in this uh, Hawkeye run from Matt Fraction, you got Clinton Barton. He's living in like this uh, apartment building with a bunch of other people and these Eastern European mobsters are trying to like take over the bit, the, uh, the building and kind of kick everybody out. Um, they're going to like raise their rent triple and uh, Clinton Barton, he's like a degenerate piece of shit really honestly throughout this whole run but he uh you know he wants to stand up for the people that live in this apartment building so he he uh tries to you know battle with these bro eastern europeans and uh they uh he's got to steal some money to uh try and pay them off or buy the building or whatever he becomes like the superintendent he's got like weird little relationships with all the people in here there's a this part here where i guess i think this is where they're trying to go uh deal like some money or some shit like that but uh this guy here he kind of i think they got the uh with the swords in the uh the hawkeye show i think that was like taken from this right here like he's not the same character but something similar this is definitely a uh, issue that is in the hawkeye series as well where they're like in this car chase those eastern european bro dudes are chasing them down and you know clinton barton is pulling out all these different arrows and they're in this crazy car chase and Hawkeye naked there with a little old school OG Hawkeye symbol covering his dick and balls. But uh, it's a cool little uh, issue with the, you know, it shows the different types of arrows that he has, as you see on the pages here. And then it has like a callback. So the one in the beginning was something they talked about, like a boomerang arrow, which uh, later in this right here is where, you know, Kate Bishop uses the boomerang arrow and fucks this dude up. So... There's a lot of like little callbacks and stuff in this uh, this book, which is cool. Um, this is a uh, an issue here where I guess there's like a tape where it's thought that Clint Barton had like assassinated someone, and all these villains like Kingpin and um, a bunch of other people are like trying to get their hands on this tape so they can use it like against the Avengers or whatever. Um, so Clint Barton like has to go to Madripoor to try and like bet or not not bet but it's like an auction they're trying to auction off this tape but uh kate bishop is just rolling up there as a madam mask she ends up like pulling his debit card or whatever like added his ass which is pretty funny uh so they're trying to get this tape that supposedly has clint barton killing uh you know like a senator or something like that i, f I forget who the person is but they end up finding out that, like, it's actually these, like, SEAL team, and it was never uh, Clint Barton. There was several tapes with, like, I think Captain America and somebody else that uh, were on it just to try and, like, throw you off the track of who actually did it. So there's a, there's a couple of, like, little issues like that in here where it's kind of, like, 
it runs off the story a bit. But, um, you know, all, all this really is just, like, Kate Barton, or, uh, Kate Bishop and Clint Barton's, like, relationship as, as it grows throughout here. They got this little, uh, issue here where it's, like, a hurricane takes over the city where they live. And then you get some, like, little Christmas issues with Clint Barton here. I thought it was all in all, like, a pretty good read. It flows well. Clint Barton is just constantly getting into, like, fights with these, like, bro European dudes, which is weird because he's, like, he's just getting fucked up all the time. Like, he's so out of it in this, uh, this book. But I kind of like this version of him a lot, though. It's kind of cool that he's kind of, like, a degenerate human being at this point. He's not really looked at as, like, an Avenger anymore. Like, people don't even notice who he is. And this issue is, like, kind of stupid. He, like, goes up to the apartment with these kids, and uh, they throw on this Winter Friends cartoon, and, like, the whole issue is just this Winter Friends shit, which is kind of strange. But, um, I don't know. I hate when they do that in, uh, in books with, like, has nothing to do with it, and the artwork is just stupid and cartoony. But, uh, Clint Barton has this weird, like, relationship with this redhead chick throughout this book, too, where she's got, like, something locked up in a safe that she's trying to get. And, uh, I don't know. It's... Like I said, I, I enjoyed reading it, but there's it's there's some stuff in it that's kind of just whatever when you when you I don't know, when you think about it. Like this is uh, this part with this dude right here, this clown dude, uh, Kazi, I think his name is. There's always this dude that um, keeps calling Hawkeye Hawk Guy, and he's like one of the people who lives in the apartment building, and uh, he's always like really nice to him. They're always chilling out, and uh, this clown killer assassin dude ends up going up there and uh, killing him on the rooftop. Because everybody's trying to get Clint Barton out of here. Because these, like, European mobster dudes are trying to, like, buy up, like, the city block for whatever reason. And because Clint won't, like, get let them get the apartment building that he's in right now, they're, like, super pissed at him. So that's why they just keep fucking with him the whole time. You get a little bit of, like, backstory of this clown dude throughout it. Which isn't, it doesn't go into, like, too much detail. But it just shows him, like, murdering people and showing that he's, like, a sadistic, sick clown serial killer. And, uh, the, the dog... This issue is just like the dog. He finds uh, that a uh, dead dude on the roof. I think Gil is his name. They he finds him and then um, trying to like figure out the mystery of like who did it and whatnot. But it's like through the eyes of the dogs, which is kind of strange but cool, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, this is a quick read because a lot of the there's not a ton of dialogue throughout this book. Uh, it's a lot of mainly just the art, which the artwork as you see right now is just like like the. Uh, the yellow and like purple there it's always like the same color scheme throughout the book which is kind of cool i guess there's a uh, little uh details in the back of like how they kind of like laid out this whole book and how they wanted all the colors to kind of match together and there's like a whole plan of like how this was going to go down so i mean that's it's kind of cool i do enjoy like the minimalist looking art throughout it but um i don't know it's a it's probably not for everybody it reminds me more of like indie books but um definitely not like marvel like if you were to pick this up you'd be like what is this but um you know kate has her little thing she's going back and forth with this uh madam mask lady who's like out to get her basically because kate bishop tied her up in that madripoor issue and uh you know she's trying to trying to kill her basically so uh there's a little thing with madam mask and kate bishop and then you got the clown dude and clint bart and there's a little bit of backstory of like his brother here barney i believe his name is um how like clint barton used to get fucked up by his dad all the time when they were kids and then he like kind of taught him how to fight and shit like that but uh that's a cool little backstory and then kate bishop ends up going out to uh los angeles california and uh <laughs> this is one of my favorite pages just a straight up creeping uh, these issues were kind of weird. I don't know. She's like going out. She's like a private investigator, and she's trying to help like this gay couple like get like uh, orchids, I think, for like their, their wedding. Uh, and, and then there's like weird little things that happen with that. And then there's more with like Madame Mask out here. It's a uh, I don't know. Some parts of it were cool. Some of it weren't that great. And this is the uh, the clown dude back in New York. The clown hitman dude finds Clint Barton and he ends up like stabbing him in the ears with something. So there's, which uh, corresponds with the show with like, you know, he uh, he can't hear well. I don't remember what, I think it was just from battling and whatnot, all the crazy battles that they had with the Avengers. I think that uh, made Clint deaf or slight of hearing in the, uh, in the Hawkeye show and whatnot. But uh, you get Kate Barton out here. There's this weirdness with this these bodies like i think madam mask has all these weird bodies that i it's it's 
weird i don't i don't really like any of the stuff of her like going out there some of it's kind of funny but i don't she gets to be a little bit too much sometimes so once you're getting to like towards the back of the book clint already got fucked up by that clown dude and he like can't hear anymore there's you see the sign language here throughout the book which is kind of cool but at the same time like i said there's no like there's not a whole lot of dialogue so you uh you really just like look at the sign language and whatnot I said, this this book you'll breeze through it's enjoyable for sure i definitely uh i got a kick out of it the uh more like private investigator stuff here then kate bishop has to come back to uh, new york because she hears it like clint barton basically that they're trying to kill him so this is like where the final showdown kind of happens like all these bro dudes come to the apartment building it's like some home alone style shit where like all the other people that are there like help fuck up all the uh, european mobs or dudes clint barton and this clown dude get after it having sick battles and whatnot he uh his brother ends up getting fucked up, which you think he's dead, actually, because he gets shot, like, right in the chest, but, uh, he's, he's fine, somehow, I don't, I don't understand that, but, and then, you know, your girl, Kate Bishop, got to roll up through all the mayhem to try and save the day with, uh, Clint Barton, so, uh, it's, it's a, it's a cool little finishing, you got Clint and, uh, this clown dude battling it out, Kate Bishop rolls up, and, uh, you know, the battle ensues between the serial killer dude. The serial killer dude's cool. I I don't believe he shows up in any other um, like Marvel stories or anything like that. It'd be cool if he did, but I, I like the character a lot. He was definitely cool. And then it gets the uh, old like the flipping the coin thing. That's how uh, he ends up taking him out. He flips the coin in this dude's fucking eye, and then he dies from that somehow. <laughs> so who knows? Then in the end, you like find out that like uh, Kate Bishop's dad is like one of the people that has like been plotting to kill like clint barton and all that shit so her rich ass father is a degenerate villain himself uh that's basically the end of the story man it's pretty good i enjoyed it a lot you get uh, some decent bonus material on the back some like the designs for that clown dude very similar to uh joker in the the, the joker movie that came out recently uh, some like sketch work of the covers and whatnot in the panels like how they were planned out so you get a decent amount of uh, bonus material in here which is always cool. This is like the section where they like talk about how they like planned out the pages and like the color schemes, which is uh, just you know interesting that they went far to like try and make it go in a certain way. This is a cool thing. This is one of the few things I've seen. It's a uh, David Aja's like playlist. So there's like actual songs and stuff like that to uh, like each issue. He made little playlists, which is pretty cool. I don't know, I've never seen that before. Well, if I enjoyed this read. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching. Once we hit 500 subscribers, we're going to be giving away this 110th scale Colossus statue from Iron Studios. I'll use a random comment generator and pick the winner. All you got to do to win is be subscribed to the channel, like and comment on a video where I mention this giveaway, and you must be located in the United States. Good luck, and thanks for watching.